show you how to make this really pretty nautical centerpiece using mostly items from the Dollar Tree and the shells, sand, and those dried flowers. Those came from Joann's. But you know, Dollar Tree sells the, the sand and the shells and you can find it there as well. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So I know I have not filmed in quite a while. If you follow me on social media, um, or if you're in my Facebook group, then you know that my best friend passed away on April 30th and that hit me pretty hard. And there were some events leading up to that, which had prevented me from filming, but I'm trying to get back into it because she wouldn't want me to stop filming. But, um, so that's what I've been dealing with. But what you're going to need for this, one of these garden dishes, this came from the Dollar Tree. You can find them. Now I've been in a few different stores and seen them in different places. One, I saw them up front where they have, you know, like all the gardening stuff, the little spades and the flower pots and whatnot. And then in another store, I saw it in the back in the craft section where they have like the wall of like artificial flowers and the little bags of stones and things like that. It was over there. So, you know, a few different places you might need to look to find these. You're also gonna need some nautical rope. This is from Dollar Tree. Now I know that some of the packages are smaller now. Some of them say nine feet. I have found some that still say 13 feet. So the ones that I have are the 13 feet. Now I don't know exactly how many I'm gonna need, but of course, when I'm done with this, I'll tell you how many I use. You're gonna need some scissors, hot glue gun and glue sticks. If you look in the description box, I'll link to my Amazon shop where you can find my favorite glue gun. You're also going to need some sandpaper. This is like a little sanding block for your nails, okay? I just happen to have this on hand. But what you're going to do is, because this is really, really smooth, you're going to need to buff it a little bit so that the glue will adhere a little bit better. So you're just going to take your sandpaper. You can use an emery board. Just something to buff this plastic up a little bit. Don't worry about what that looks like because when we're done, this entire bowl, dish, whatever you want to call it, the thingy, is going to be completely covered with rope. So um, don't worry about what that looks like. But you just want to buff it all over on both sides. Now I'm only going to do the outside here because that's what I'm going to start on. I'm going to start on the outside. Now this label, this tiny little label, I'm not going to worry about that right now because it's going to be covered up and it's going to be on the bottom. You're not going to see it, so don't worry about that. And these are the dickens to get off sometimes. But now this big one in the center, it's already torn and starting to lift, so I will take that one off. But anyway, what we're going to do, let's open up our rope, which I should have already done. But you know, my brain's been a little bit scattered with all of the events that has gone on lately and it's understandable. All right, so this little part right here is taped. Sometimes you can just pull this tape off or sometimes I just cut it off just so I don't have to worry with that. So I'm just gonna start gluing this down with the hot glue just right around here. You can see there's kind of a little lip right here. I'm just gluing it right on that little lip. Just right there. Now this is gonna take a minute, okay? Because you're gonna have to put your glue on, stick your rope down, and then wait for the glue to set up. So it's gonna take you a little bit to get all the way around. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around the outside, just coiling it around as I go. Of course, I'll come back and show you how I stick down the center. And then I'm gonna take this and buff the inside, and then we're just gonna glue the rope down to the inside as well. Fast and easy to explain. Just take you a little bit for the glue to stick. So let me work on this and I'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so I've got most of this glued down and now we're kind of wrapping up the middle here. I was looking for my scissors. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this. Oh, time to sharpen my daggum scissors, isn't it? All right, let's lay that piece of rope over there. And I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue here and then just try to work this down the best way that I can. You want to try to get it as flat as possible. Don't worry if anything is sticking up because once the glue has set up and hardened, you can go back and just trim it away to make sure it's flat so that it doesn't rock, you know, when you have it setting up. 
and then I can go back. I might try to glue that down or just trim it away. But there is the outside. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the inside. Just start on the edge here and just glue rope round and around and around till we get to the center. Hey, look at that, that's kind of cool. I like looking at the uh, at the hot glue seeing all the bubbles in it. All right, so we're just gonna go round and round until you kind of get here to the center. And then once you get the inside put in, you're gonna be able to see just a little bit of that plastic right there. I'm gonna take a piece of rope and glue right around on the top there once I get the inside done just to cover that, okay? Now, for this, this is a vase that I got at the Dollar Tree. I want this to sit down in there like that. So I'm not going to put any rope in the very center. Why? Because the rope is going to kind of hold this in place a little bit. So, you know, if a cat or something jumps up and knocks it around, the rope is going to kind of help to hold it around the bottom. So once I get down in here, I'm just going to keep putting this down, glue the rope, put this down, glue the rope to make sure that it holds it flush. Okay. Now let's talk about how we're going to decorate this i got these little wooden cutout shapes you get six in a pack once again from dollar tree you get two of each design and what i'm going to do is pick whichever design i want and then i'm going to spray paint it white okay spray paint it white and then i'm going to take some of the rope and i'm going to glue i don't know about that much just around the center and then we're going to glue one of these pieces to it okay so i'm going to finish working on this and then i'm going to work on this and then we'll start to really put it all together all right so i have all of the rope put around all the way to the inside here and as you can see i did go back where you could see that little rim of plastic between the two layers here and then i just put one strand around it now for the rope for the bowl and to glue it around your vase here you're going to need five packages of that and like i said this was the the 13 foot packages so yeah you're going to need five of those all right so the paint on my little anchor guy here is dried and you know what i'm not y'all know i don't like empty spaces <laughs> i don't like all this empty space right here i want to put a little a little something something there so i have this twine here okay the bowl needs to move dish whatever you want to call it so i have this twine here from the dollar tree and i'm just going to put a blob of glue right there on the back of our uh, i can't even speak on the back of our little anchor guy and i just want to wrap it around a couple times just to give it a little a little extra something to break up <laughs> to break up just that empty space there i don't know for some reason that really bothers me so now we're gonna put another blob of glue right there. All right, now for the inside of our bowl and inside of our little vase thingy here, I got a few things from Joann's. You can use whatever you want, but I wanted a little bit of color because this is brown and then this is tan and the bowl is brown. So I got a bag of these shells from Joann's and a few different colors and then I got this blue sand. So let's see, let's... I think that glue is set up. All right, so let's take a look at that. Oh, Lordy, let's cut that little piece off. All right, that looks better. That looks a little better. All right, so let's find, okay, that's gonna be the back because that's where I started the rope. Yeah, that's gonna be the very back. So I'm just going to put a line of hot glue right here. There we go. And let's put the anchor right there. That look good to you? Looks good to me. Okay, a little black spot there. I was painting it outside, so Lord only knows what stuck to it. <laughs> Alrighty. So now, let's get this. And you don't have to use flowers in yours. You can use, you know, a candle, whatever. And Dollar Tree usually does carry colored sand. My store just happened to be out today. So let's pour this sand in there. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to use of it. Let's stop right there and see how, how far these flowers are going to stick up. So this is just some dried grass. Like I said, I got it at Joann's. Oh, it's got a twist tie on it. I usually have everything open. I am so unprepared. Okay. 
Now let's see, because this is dry, we might not be able to do too much fluffing with it. I love dried grasses and things like that. Very natural. All right, so I'm just fluffing it up a little bit. I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna stick it down here and see, it's all bundled together with that little strand there. Okay, look, y'all need to all go down in there. Quit fighting me. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I think I have enough sand in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the rest of the sand. Let's take this label off. And I'm just going to pour the rest of the sand in around this grass. Watch me make a mess. Watch me make an utter mess with this stuff. And then the sand will kind of help to hold the flowers in. That needs to move over a little bit. All right, we're getting somewhere now. I'm sure I'll go back and rearrange this a little bit more here in a little bit. I might cut that band off from around the center. I don't know. I might, because I'm not being a big fan of that right now. All right, so that's what we're going to do with our grasses. Now, for our, for our little doohickey here, you're just going to set it down. Where's the back of our bowl? All right, that's going to be the back. I'm just going to set this down in there, and then just take my bag of shells and just kind of scatter it around the bottom. I do have some white shells from Dollar Tree which I think, you know, that would be really nice to add some bulk and filler if you didn't want to use all of your colored shells in there. So I'm just going to place them. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that cute? I'm just going to place them around it. And then that will be that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back and mess with these flowers. But yeah, that is it. Just going to sprinkle these around, straighten them out. And then we'll call that done. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.